Hey there! In this bonus lecture, we'll dive into creating a fully responsive navbar that adapts seamlessly to different screen sizes. We will leverage concepts like flex grow, flex shrink, flex bases, flex wrap, and the other properties. Let's start by looking at our navbar. It has four items, and the search item is the one that's flexing. It grows and shrinks with the container size. We've given the search item a flex value of 1 while the others are only as wide as the content. We will space up the styling a bit, use a single background color for a cleaner look. In previous example, we will use different background colors for pedagogical purposes. But now that you're familiar with Flexbox, we've kept it simple. A key change is using another list and list items for a more semantic representation of an F bar. The search items include the input field so you can interact with it. The navbar works well on widescreen, but start to break around a certain width especially for the search item. We want to make adjustments so that the container can wrap and accommodate two items per row. Let's head to the CSS and create a media query at 600 pixels. Inside, we allow the container to wrap using flex wrap wrap. This ensures the items can now wrap into multiple rows. To control the layout, we will set the flex property for the items. For each item, we use flex 1 1 percent to make sure each row can fit two items. Additionally, we will align the search input text in the center for a better design. Now we have two distinct states, one for narrower screens and another for wider screens, but I'd like to refine the layout for an even narrower view, like a mobile. Let's create another media query, this time for 400 pixels. Here, we will modify the flex property to flex 1, 1, 100% for each item to ensure they occupy the entire row width. This gives us a clean transition at 400 pixels, optimizing for mobile view. Lastly, we'll move the search item to the bottom by giving it an out of 1, enhancing the layout for a fully vertical design. And this is a wrap. Feel free to play around with this and customize it to your liking. If you have any questions, drop it in the Q&A section. Thank you for learning with us.